scared me to death, what I went through. One morning I was walking to a restaurant and this guy came up to me and told me that he had asked for me. So I went over there and he acted like a cop and told me I was under arrest. And he put his handcuffs on me and he had me in his trailer and he drove me to Elfin Butte. And he... Did a lot of sick stuff. At the time, I was scared they were going to catch me. I didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't know where I was at. But it was, it was relief. The FBI is seeking information regarding any possible victims of David Parker Ray, who died in state prison in New Mexico in 2002 while serving a 223-year sentence for kidnapping and torturing two women. He disgusted me. He was a very sick man and just the way he talked. It wasn't like he, this was the first, it didn't feel like this was the first time. It looked like, just felt like. He knew what he was doing, and I was never going to be able to see my family again. Ray, who lived in Elephant Butte, New Mexico, usually drove a Toyota RV. The FBI is also asking for help to identify this woman, whom they believe may have had contact with Ray. David Parker Ray is also suspected in the disappearance of Jill Troya, who was last seen the night of September 30th, 1995, or the early morning of October 1st, 1995, at the Frontier Restaurant in Albuquerque with Ray's daughter, Glenda Jessie Ray. If I didn't get away, I wouldn't have my three wonderful boys I have today. I wouldn't be here right now asking people for help for these women. That's what I went through. And these families deserve to have these people to know what happened. And these people need to be returned to their families, whether they're gone or not. They didn't have to go through what I went through, but they did. And they didn't, probably didn't make it like I did. help these families because my family would have probably been going through the same thing if I didn't get away. If you have any information concerning this case, please contact your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate.